once I got to um, Okinawa, they were still you know, doing the end processing. They were, yeah, there was, um, they were still trying to figure out what flight. And of course, scuttlebutt through the, through the uh, network was, was they had SWAT on the things and they were calling it SWAT at the time. Oh, okay. And they were really, you know, they were almost as bad as the TNT teams on Okinawa, except for they were a little more physical and, and they were a little more cliquish. And of course, yeah, I want to be in a SWAT team. Sure. It, it's, it's just, you know, I want to be special too. Um, and so I, I heard that Bravo Flight was looking for a member because one of them at PCS and they really wanted to build one out. So I embellished. Um, and so they, they, and said, oh, I was on the tactical neutralization team and I lied a little bit more. Sure. And I'm, I'm sitting at the NCO club. It's like two or three days before my which flight I was going to be on. And the flight chief named Wayne Fote met me at the met me at the NCO club. And so you want to be a, you're, you're on the TNT teams. Yeah. What makes you think you're good enough to be on SWAT? <laughs> Well, I've done this, 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 and this, embellishing, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and two days later, I went. I was on his flight. Nice. <laughs> well, that's a good sign. <laughs> and and I hadn't even been on there a week when all of a sudden, hostage crisis. And <laughs> he grabs me, um, a nice, a great guy named Sonny Valella, and a good guy named uh, Bill Pittman. And we show up, you know, and as we're driving down, I go, where are we going? He goes, Maki Minato housing sector. There's a hostage crisis. You know, you know, there's a, there's a guy barricaded with a weapon with his wife in the bedroom. I'm like, Ooh, we're getting serious now. Right. And you know, I'm joking it off. And Wayne's look at me like you're awful calm for this. Like, yes. Just a hostage hostage thing. I mean, <laughs> if, if the negotiators can't deal with this, you know, you know, SWAT's always the last resort. Right. And we show up and, you know, we, you know, we don't even have weapons. Um, that's what I'm, you know, I'm not worried yeah. <laughs> if, if we're showing up without weapons, you know, of course we're on Okinawa. Nobody's got weapons. Okay. okay? You can't, you know, to have a weapon, it's got to be locked in the base. Um, oh, so, okay. you know, so I'm not, I'm not worried as, at, at anything. Mm -hmm. And we come in, there's, there's, you know, the Navy has their, their people all the way around. Of course the Navy doesn't have a SWAT team. <laughs> and so I, I back out and I walk around and there's more, Navy cops sitting around on the outside. And I just walk around and going, nice day for a hostage crisis, ain't it? And they're just <laughs> looking at me like I'm nuts. And I walk through the front door, you know, there's, there's, and there's um, OSI sitting inside the door. And I'm like, what are you guys doing? We're waiting for our opportunity. And Sonny comes in behind me and Bill's right behind him. I go, oh, to OSI, what weapons is he holding? He goes, he's got a samurai sword. <laughs> what kind of samurai sword is it? Oh, it's the one you get at the PX. And I'm like, he's got one of those fake samurai swords? <laughs> yeah. And they see these nice little bully clubs. Can I have that one? And I hand and and, and we steal three of them. Yeah. And I and I asked I asked Sonny, where's where's Sergeant Fote? He's outside with the hostage commander. And and I go, let's go. The door's unlocked. And so boom, we go in and there's this guy, he's, he's, he's drunk. Yeah. And so we bum rush him. Sonny takes his, his baton, knocks the, knocks the sword out of his hand. I'm, you know, I just bear hug him, pick yeah. him up and sumo slam him onto the bed and Bill's there with the handcuffs. <laughs> Zip zop. <laughs> and we carry him out. <laughs> it's like, and everybody's looking at him and go, hostage crisis over and dump him on and OSI's on him. Just bit, bit, can you guys can you guys take him to the to the uh, the jail? That's what we do. Yeah, <laughs> hostage negotiation. You know, hostage crisis over. Thank you. Y'all can go home now. <laughs> they were probably dug in. They thought they were going to be there all night long, and you guys just yeah. like yeah, just yeah, we just walk just in there. I mean, this is, this, yeah, it was one of the funniest thing we did. <laughs> yeah, no medals, no nothing. You know, yeah. we we didn't get anything out of that except for a piece of paper saying y'all did good. Um, I think we would have done more if we would have done something spectacular. Okay. Yeah. We are, you know, we're brainless freaking beast. It's like, <laughs> go in, do something. You know, you know it's, it's, yeah, there was, there was no plan. We didn't write out an elaborate plan. All right. Um, and at that point, um, he was a Lieutenant at the time, the Mike, Michael, um, Michael W. Reynolds. 
And he, he looked around and, and I wrote a great after action report. There was a goat rope and I wrote it up that way. Um, I did make everybody, I tried to sugarcoat it and try to make everybody look a little better than what it was. Mike read between the lines. Hey. 